hi everyone a very good morning this video is regarding mains examination of patent officer so we have a very limited amount of time in this limited amount of time how we can prepare for this patent officer mains examination because if you see the mains examination syllabus and your csr net and gate examination syllabus is almost similar so if you just focus on the important things of this particular syllabus then it is not that difficult to uh, write descriptive paper of this mains examination but the question is how we have to focus if you want to uh, write this descriptive paper because descriptive paper is completely different from objective paper till now we are aware of this objective paper we don't have any idea on descriptive paper so in this very limited amount of time how we can write and how we can uh, we can be ready to write the mains examination in a descriptive mode that's the question okay if you people start your preparation for mains examination right now and if you are starting to prepare everything regarding every topic and if you if you start to read every standard book it will take a lot of time so instead of that my suggestion is only one thing study standard books that too in a very very limited amount of uh, with the limited amount of material means just i'm going to suggest you a uh, three standard books only read those three standard books to cover your syllabus because if you start to prepare every uh, standard book regard regarding every other topic then it will take it, it is so much of time consuming it will take a lot of time so don't do that because we have very very limited amount of time so we have to cover this complete syllabus of this mains of patent officer in a very very rapid manner and at the same time in a very very efficient manner right okay first of all if you observe section a section b section c section d so you are going to have a uh, 12 questions completely so in this 12 questions if you see section a contains 12 marks section b is of 20 marks section c 28 marks section d 40 marks if you observe previous year question papers of 2015 and 2018 according to my analysis definitely one question will come on solid state group theory and electrochemistry so examiner is continuously asking have been asking questions this on this solid state uh, group theory and electrochemistry so my suggestion is only one thing don't leave these three chapters especially right so without studying these chapters you don't have to go for your exam this is the first point second section a is of 12 marks 12 marks questions means if you observe the question paper and if you try to analyze the question paper in a in a in a proper way 12 marks questions are nothing but your basic level questions okay examiner is not going to the level of depth so only examiner is asking basic level questions for suppose if you observe for example i'm giving here one topic that is basic strength if you observe 2018 paper the first question was Uh, the question the first question was regarding the basic strength of the uh, particular amines i think right so particular amines so if you have uh, and another question is just regarding stability so if you have a good fundamental knowledge and if you have a good command on your basics regarding your subject then definitely you can uh, write this section here in a very very efficient manner there is no doubt at all right so if you observe total syllabus so according to my an analysis i'm telling you total if if you if you are the sincere student who has been preparing for your csr net and gate sincerely then this exam is somewhat easy exam for you because for section a you don't need to refer any standard books instead of reading books you can follow your csr net or gate notes csr net <coughs> and gate notes is more than enough because if you practice the questions okay if you practice previous year questions of csr net and gate 
you can easily attempt this section a right so what you have to do but this is the descriptive nature that is object objective nature so what you have to do just read your csr net and gate notes and try to write important points in a sequential manner for suppose if you take <coughs> carbocation intermediate okay so first of all the first point is carbocation intermediate so the stability of carbocation intermediate tertiary carbocation greater than secondary greater than primary right this is the second point third point whether carbocation is a planar or not if it is a planar right planar third point okay so if it is a planar then what is the bond angle 120 degree right so this is the next one here only you have to write one another point you can write one another point regarding sn1 and sn2 okay so carbocation intermediate will form in sn1 right so in sn1 reaction carbocation intermediate will form more stable carbocation intermediate will be preferable if more stable carbocation is preferred then seventh point or sixth point is um, then attack will uh, the, the reagent will attack from which side okay you have to write these all points in a sequential manner in a sequential manner in a wise manner you have to write these all points that's all so according to me for section a you don't need to study any books your csr net and gate notes is more than enough if you are the efficient person why i'm using this word because you have to know how to utilize your csr net and gate notes you don't need to study uh, study standard books because you have very limited amount of time but if you are the person who is somewhat wiser then definitely you can use your csr net and gate notes in a very very efficient manner to write this section b okay this is the second point third if you observe <coughs> so continuously questions are coming on solid state group theory and electrochemistry don't leave those chapters next is section b if you come to section b in previous year papers the level of this section b is also not that not the depth right this is also is somewhat basic level basic level questions are asking here also for suppose if you take steady state approximation emf electromotive force like that right so here also for the, for the section b also you have to have your net and gate notes along with that you have to have some common sense okay if you have some common sense and if you can understand the question in a proper manner this section b is very very easy for you you don't need to study any books also right okay and if you see section c 28 marks questions here if you come here if you want to uh, attempt this particular questions in section b you don't need to have any extra knowledge okay if you have a knowledge of no, knowledge of csr net and gate that knowledge that csr net and gate knowledge is more than enough here but if you want to attempt this section c questions you have to have a proper idea on derivations also examiner here starting to ask the questions in a depth level this is depth level and section d is very depth okay so for section c what you have to do for suppose here emf you know the formula of emf e equal to e not minus uh, rt by nf okay you have uh, one formula how to derive that particular formula delta g equal to delta g not plus rt ln k how you have to derive that particular formula you have to know the derivation also you have to know the derivation also examiner here is testing about your depth knowledge whether you know the formula whether you know the derivation of that particular formula or not examiner is just checking is just checking whether you have only uh, you have only ratification or you have a conception you, you are or you are uh, studying from the depth level also okay examiner is checking these things here right so you have to uh, for this you have to study the books so which books you have to study i will tell you right and for section d again you are if you have a csr net and gate knowledge and if you have done your previous year questions then definitely you can easily attempt at least two questions here if you observe from spectroscopy every time one question is asking in section d if you know how to determine the structure by giving the data of nmr ir mass etc then definitely you can attempt one question right so next one group theory one question lattice enthalpy 
from the periodicity so lactose enthalpy basic level basic basic level periodicity and hydro hydrogen atom and in quantum chemistry also you don't need to study depth level but you have to study you have to have a knowledge on uh, what is that huckel molecular orbital theory hydrogen atom etc right so section d is of 40 marks but your answers how you have to write the answers here if you take section a and section b okay so half page answers are enough you have to conclude your answer in just uh, 10 lines okay 10 lines or 15 lines but here for section c and section d you have to write your answer in a very very you know elaborate manner in a very analytically you have to write the answers of section c and section d you have to remember here right so conclusion is section a and section b your csr net and gate notes is more than enough for section c and section d you have to study some standard books you don't need to study all books and also and also focus on important topics regarding your syllabus you don't need to complete entire syllabus but try to cover inorganic organic physical all three in all three also you have to focus on important topics only important questions important topics like if you see Kirchhoff's equation very important regarding electrochemistry EMF important Gibbs free energy important you know most important questions if you observe previous year questions of CSR net you can get to know uh, which are important which are not important right because uh, if, if if a particular uh, topic is important then definitely you can see more number of questions on them in previous years of CSR net and get so those topics are very very important Just focus on those topics only right next so the conclusion is this is just gate and net level exam and if you see the books recommended books are this so the first first one is Claydon second Atkins or Puri Sharma Patania is enough for physical chemistry Claydon for organic chemistry Ajay Kumar for inorganic chemistry okay try to grab try to collect information from these three books only you don't need to study any other books because you have a very limited amount of time you don't have much time remember this point okay so uh, next one practice is very very important so because this mains exam is just different from your objective exam to attempt this paper so your knowledge is enough your csr and got great knowledge is enough if you have a little bit common sense if you have little bit idea if you have little bit concept if you have little bit conceptual knowledge that knowledge that your csr and great knowledge is enough you can attempt the paper you can definitely attempt the paper but the thing is whether can you write can you attempt the paper in a descriptive nature or not within a limited amount of time within a limited period of time that's the question because examiner will give you three hours time so in three hours time you have to write every question in a descriptive manner that is the biggest problem so to avoid that problem still you have two months of time for me for your mains exam you have to practice a lot take one question for suppose if you take Gibbs free energy take Gibbs free energy topic and try to write down the derivation of that Gibbs free energy topic okay try to write down Gibbs free energy try to write down uh, try to write down the concept behind that Gibbs free energy in a point wise manner in a descriptive man manner okay take one one sheet of paper and pen and try to write uh, in a descriptive mode for these two months right so this is the strategy of mains exam i think this strategy will be uh, very very useful for you for your examination i hope okay so still if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section thank you so much